And now it's time for Fox Sports with your hosts, Joaquin Rivera and Sam Speck. And good afternoon, another special edition of Fox Sports bringing you all the realest news. I'm Sam Speck here with my co-host, Joaquin Rivera from the Colorado Media School Studios, and we've got another incredible show for you. Thanks, Sam. Like he said, I'm Joaquin Rivera, and today we've got coverage of Week 8 of Crabgate. That's right, Joaquin. Coming up a little bit later in the quarter hour, we have our field reporter Noah Johnson on the scene in Foxborough having a special interview with New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. We will finally get his take on everything that's been going on during Crabgate. It has now been seven consecutive games that opponents of the Patriots have had trouble controlling their bowel movements. That's, that's disgusting. Yes, it is, Sam. Yes, it is. First reported by Pittsburgh head coach Mike Tomlin after a week one loss to the Patriots that his players said the water and Gatorade that was supplied tasted weird and were continually having to use the restroom during the game. Buffalo Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor also reported to NFL officials that he had to use the restroom 16 times in the first quarter of the game this past Sunday. 16 times? Sounds brutal. Yeah, you'll win every game keeping the starting QB off the field for that long, and in fact, they have. The New England Patriots have remained undefeated so far this season, and teams are beginning to believe they are supplying their opponents with laxative-filled drinks as an advantage. This is not the first time the Patriots have been accused of using questionable tactics on and off the field. Questionable to say the least. Spygate in 06 to Deflategate in 2014. And now a year later, we're here talking about Crapgate. Is there anything the Pats won't do to win, Joaquin? Well, now nothing has been proven yet, Sam. Yeah, yeah right. right. The league has been investigating this for weeks, but have not been able to prove anything yet. Opposing teams are more frustrated than ever in Bill Belichick and the Patriots, as Broncos head coach states, having to worry about late season lower intestinal injuries after playing the Patriots is a joke, and the league is tired of it. Some strong words from Kubiak there. I agree, and teams now smartly bringing their own sort of refreshments to avoid having players miss serious game time due to what we are now being told is called RBM syndrome, or rapid bowel movement syndrome, caused from an overuse of medical grade herbal laxatives. Good move there by opposing teams. Man, 16 times in a quarter? That's 16 bowel movements in 15 minutes. I didn't think that was humanly possible. I really don't think it is. Well, hopefully Noah Johnston can get us and the Curious Nation more information on Tom Brady's involvement in the whole Crapgate situation. As the interview is coming up a little later in the quarter hour, and maybe he can clear things up for us. And hopefully teams start to figure out how to beat the Patriots here soon, or else we might have people crapping in the Super Bowl. We wouldn't want that now. And don't forget, Fox Sports also has full coverage of the South Denver County Elementary School's faculty flag football champions at 4.30 Mountain Time over in Inglewood this Friday night, as there's a bunch of exciting games going on. That's right, bracket play is officially in full swing, and teams are now focused on winning in the win or go home pressure on their backs. Pressures on teams like the 14th Street Jackrabbits or the Lincoln Lizards who had a very strong start to both of their seasons and have dropped off in performance late in the year. Playoff time is never a good time to lose your mojo. Hey there, Sam. Yeah, you could put it that way. And teams like the Jefferson Moose and Arnold County Penitentiary have not seemed to lose their mojo heading into the playoffs as they're both on a six-game winning streak and very well could be the teams to beat. We've got our full reviews on the premier games this weekend in the SDES FFF Championships after their very important interview coming up next with Tom Brady. Noah Johnston has a set of questions for the veteran quarterback that you do not want to miss. We're going to head to a quick break, though, but don't go anywhere. We've got the realest news coming at you. This show was brought to you by Natural Laxatives, giving you the clearance you deserve.
All righty. Welcome back to Fox Sports. I'm Noah Johnson. Come to you live from Foxborough. Joining us today is Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. Tom, thank you for joining us today. It's great to have you, and I'd like to congratulate you on your undefeated season so far. Thanks, Noah. It's, it's great to be here. You know, we're just taking it one game at a time. Very good. Well, you guys have been doing good with that so far. So we're going to dive right into the questions. Um, Tom, why'd you do it? Why did I do what? Can, can you elaborate a little bit for me now? Oh, Tom, cut the crap. We all know why you're here. Crap? What, what crap? Tom, you can't deny that the teams you've been playing have been tr having trouble with their vowel movements during the game. Well, here in New England, Noah, we believe that whatever goes on in somebody's gastrointestinal tract is usually their business. So it's their own personal problem? Well, it's certainly not mine. You know, we haven't had any, any issues with the water up in New England. Water? Who said anything about water, huh? Uh, I, you know, I just assume they're putting something wrong in their bodies. Or maybe it's that New, new, uh, that new England clam chowder up there. You know, it, it takes a toll sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you wouldn't happen to be the one putting it in their bodies, would you? I just want to talk about the performance on the field, not this crap. Okay, okay, fair enough, Tom. Uh, Tom, do you find it easier or harder to beat defenders when they're literally crapping their pants out on the field? Well, to be honest with you, Noah, know, that's what every defense looks like when they're playing us. That just went live. It's your show. <laughs> that it is. Uh, Tom, you can't deny that defenders are having to constantly substitute for their teammates so that their teammates can then go to the bathroom during the games. The bathroom? What? I, I figured they're just uh, trying to change schemes or something. Use different schemes? Yeah, you know, to try and slow down my high-octane offense. <laughs> Tom, these players are literally having to change their pants as they're rushing off the field during the game. This is crap. Exactly! I don't think you understand how classy our organization up is, is up in New England. We do everything the Patriot way. And what is the Patriot way? All right, I've heard about enough of this crap. Oh, Bill, uh, nice of you to join us, but I'm Good trying goal. to have a one-on-one -on -one interview here with Tom Brady. Continue. Okay. So, Tom, you're just going to stand there and say that you had nothing to do with Spygate or Deflategate and now Crapgate? Well, you know, that's all outside noise, and, and we don't really listen to that. So, to you, these are all just made-up stories? You know, usually whatever gets the rating is, is, is what you report. Okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, since you're clearly not going to answer these with your own answers, I might as well turn to you, Bill, and ask you Get personally. <laughs> Bill, what do you have to say about Crapgate? We're on to Cincinnati. Are you going to taint Cincinnati's water as well? We're on to Cincinnati. Uh, Bill, what do you have to say about defenders crapping their pants during the game? We're on to Cincinnati. All righty. Good one, Coach. Tom, Bill, thank you for joining us here on uh, Fox Sports. Thanks for having us, Noah. It was, it's been a pleasure. I'm Noah Johnson. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. Signing out from Foxborough, I'm Noah Johnston. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Fox Sports. I'm Joaquin Rivera with Sam Speck. 
And a great job there by reporter Noah Johnston trying to get all the answers out of the Patriots there. Yeah, he almost got him to crack there, Joaquin. Yeah, almost. Well, Tom looked a little shaky answering those questions. Shaky enough that Bill had to step in and save the day, it seemed like. There's got to be a way that the league can get to the bottom of this debacle before RBM syndrome claims yet another team. So, uh, who do they play this Sunday? According to Bill, I think it's Cincinnati. Ah, yes, Cincinnati. Well, they better buckle up for a tough game against the unbeaten Patriots and for the serious issues facing the RBM syndrome. The teams have been trying to avoid after playing the Pats. And hopefully the Bengals can bring an end to the streak the Patriots have on the field and the ones they're causing in their opponents' pants. Fox Sports had full coverage of the South Denver County Elementary School Faculty Flag Football Championships of this past weekend as the Jefferson Moose took down the 14th Street Jackrabbits. Yes, the Moose now on a seven-game winning streak as they eliminate the Jackrabbits from contention. Scoring 28 points in the first two minutes of the game got the Moose off and running on a good start to the game. Eight turnovers and then the all-male cheerleading squad seemed to be too big of a distraction for the high-powered offense as they could only put up three points offensively. Yeah, the Jackrabbits had an amazing run throughout the regular season, but as you saw, they couldn't produce any points and were ultimately eliminated. The Moose will play, for the Arnold, will play the Arnold County Penitentiary for the SDCES Triple F Championship game. Yes, the penitentiary's defense was the big story in their game versus the Lincoln Lizards holding them to minus 16 offensive yards. Not only did they never let the opposing team get past their own 25-yard line, they also put up an astounding 122 offensive points. DeBrickashaw Jones, the starting QB for the Penn, had six TDs and over 500 yards passing as they completely embarrassed the Lizards. Embarrassed is an understatement. The Lizards lost so badly that half the staff was fired before the game even concluded. Well, that's not too good a news for next year. No kidding, and more bad news coming from the Penn sideline as their star linebacker, Jerry Holmes, is suspended for the rest of the season after knocking out not only the head coach of the Lizards, but his own team's mascot. Holmes states he was in the heat of the moment. Yeah, those playoffs can really get in your head, Joaquin. <laughs> that's right. Well, regardless of how you feel towards that situation, Holmes is suspended for the championship game. I'm surprised that predicting them had a huge impact on the team's overall outcome. And you can catch that championship game this weekend only on Fox Sports as the 2015 SDES CS Triple F Championship game between the Arnold County Penitentiary and the Jefferson Moose is shaping up to be a great one. Ah, uh, yes, definitely. I know who I'm taking. I know I'm taking the wife and kids down to City Park to watch some high intensity flag football. Who are you pulling for in this game, Joaquin? You know, the pen looks really strong, but I think that losing their star linebacker will give the Moose the edge in this one. I got Jefferson taking the championship. What about you, Sam? Well, all of my family's in the pen, so I gotta go with Arnold County on this one. All of your family? Every single one of them. All right, well, Fox Sports coverage of the game starts at 5.30 this Saturday in the downtown Denver area, as we will have a Colorado flag football legend, Phil Hahn, in the studio for the pregame festivities. He will give us his insight on what's it like playing in a flag football championship as all the attention will be on the game this weekend, bringing that much extra pressure. Well, it's been another great edition of Fox Sports as I really think we dove deeper into the Craftgate controversy with our in-depth interview with Tom Brady earlier in the quarter hour. If you missed it, check out fsports.com for the full show and interview archives. Yes, and for our field reporter, Noah Johnston and Joaquin Rivera, I'm Sam Speck from the Colorado Media School, signing off.